Alex, it's Leicester City next up in the league. How are you looking to approach that game, would you say? Um, it's going to be a difficult match. You know, Leicester have started the season really well, um, particularly in their own patch. I think they're a, they're a good side. You know, I was at the game last night to watch them. Um, so we know it's going to be a tough game, but I think that I've watched some of the other games and I think other teams have um, been in the game. I think they've had opportunities and I think it's really a case of making sure that when they've got it, you've got a good structure to how you're going to be defensively and then also making sure we've got that balance to try to carry a threat going the other way. I think for the players, these games are really exciting. You know, I think, unfortunately for us at the moment, we're not going to catch this game at full strength. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the injuries that we've picked up, but it's another game that we need to go and try and compete in and, and hopefully we try and get something out of the game. How are you seeing it playing out? Um, it's one of the difficult matches where I think the first goal is going to be vitally important. I think if we can get it, I think then it gives us something to, to make sure that we can fight for throughout the rest of the game and, and go and try and see the sort of game out type of thing. I think if they get the first goal, I think then obviously it's how aggressive you want to go to then try and quickly turn it back because um, they've naturally got talented players that exploit space. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough match. How much heart did you take from the performance on Tuesday given the amount of changes that you had to make going into the game and during the game? Yeah, I think that certainly Bristol second half in the last game, I think just, just over the last couple of matches, I think both of them, effort and endeavour and all that that you would hope and want for the players, I think they gave it in abundance. When you're tested, you, you find out bits about people and bits about players that you maybe didn't know beforehand. We had some good moments in the game. I think that the fact that our fans, sort of, a lot of them stayed back and, and sort of gave the players some appreciation in terms of what they put into the match, uh, I thought was a really nice touch considering we didn't get anything from the game. Um, but I think it shows they understand how much we're all trying to try and get the results. And I don't think that any of the passion that you would want as a fan is, is in question. And I think you've seen that, that togetherness in the last couple of games. And given the performance on Tuesday in particular, it shows that they can compete against those teams higher up in the table as well, doesn't it, despite the, the injuries? Yeah, of course we can. You know, I, I think what we need to make sure we don't get sidetracked with just focusing on who's unavailable. You know, because the fact is when you're injured, you're injured. And we've got to focus on the lads who are available and make sure we go and try and get the best result um, for everybody that's, that's there. Is a positivity that you can take from this that some younger players are perhaps getting an opportunity a little bit quicker? Um, yeah, I think when they're ready, they'll always get a chance. You know, I think I've already shown that. We saw it at the start of the season. And I just feel as if at the moment, obviously, Lloyd's come in, he's got his goal. I thought he merited his start the other night. I thought he worked really hard, got into some good positions. So, um, yeah, I think if, if the young lads are going to, we feel, contribute to the team and and maybe give us something we haven't got, then I'll have no problems with putting them in. This is the seventh game in 21 days. What are you taking from those games into this international break? Um, I think the break's coming at a good time. I think we need to get some of our players back to give us a better chance of winning matches and being more competitive because obviously the stronger a squad you've got, the better chance you've got of winning games. Um, I think there's some crucial areas that we're a bit considerably light in now, particularly we've picked up a few injuries there. And also, I think sometimes you need a good sort of break mentally just to get yourself ready for this next batch. I think this particular set of games has been testing, you know, going to Bournemouth and then having Southampton and then obviously going to Leicester. I think it's a difficult run of fixtures for us.